Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Serbia, what was that? What was that? Germany. This is literally the the sort of the U21 Euros Germany version of the 2014 World Cup battering that they gave Brazil. They just did that same thing to Serbia. Luka Waldschmidt. <sighs> Guys, can we just let's just take a moment. Let's just take 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 a breather. Let's chill. Um this entire game was an absolute domination. The defending champions, Germany, obviously come into this tournament, you know, feeling like, you know, there, there's some teams that are coming off of their title. Obviously, you know, Italy were a big one, Spain were a big one, England, France, they all had good squads. Uh, and Germany, they have, a, they have a really good squad, especially defensively. Um, and, it, you know, the attack was one of the big questions coming into the tournament. It no longer is. It, it no longer, it's not even close. I mean... Six goals, Marco Richter at striker and Luca Walschmidt. This tandem duo in what was like a weird version of the 4-3-2-1 that they played in the first game uh, against Denmark. Just absolutely lights out. I mean, it's unreal. They, they even got a sixth in, in the added time just to add insult to injury. To and this Serbian squad, how Luka Jovic did not... You know, get more involved, it's beyond me. I mean, he had a header go off the bar in the first game, but in this contest, you saw not a bit of him. And it's really disappointing because, you know, it's Real Madrid's big money move. He's a talent that's supposed to be able to help his team get involved in play. And him in that number nine role, <laughs> Germany, done with him. They they absolutely battered him. I mean, Klosterman, Ta, uh, Baumgartler, every single one of them. Absolutely, they had no problem with him whatsoever, which is really shocking. I mean, obviously you want more talent around him. He's going to have the likes of Eden Hazard, Vinicius, Marco Sensio next year to do these businesses with. But, I mean, I, at this rate, if we're talking about performances in this tournament, I would rather have Marco Richter as my new signing. The guy, three goals, two assists in two games in the tournament. And in addition to that, he works really well with the hat-trick king, Luka Walshman. I mean, all three goals, just absolute class. Especially with his left, shooting with his left and right foot. Bruh. 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 How? How did the... This, this is the biggest statement win I feel like we have watched so far at this U21 Euros. You could say the Poland win over Italy was another big statement and you know what they want to aspire to do but this was the biggest statement win I mean if you if you aren't a, a believer that Germany could repeat as the U21 European champions after watching what they just did to this Serbian squad which actually I thought was half decent against Austria uh, then I don't know what to say to you I mean that they just absolutely battered the hell out of Serbia it was not even fun to watch 22 shots 20 12 on target compared to 3 shots on target out of 9 for Serbia. The only goal that they scored was off a penalty and Jovic didn't even get to take it. Like, it's... Bye. Goodbye, Serbia. And they're pretty much done now as well. So, all Germany have to do in the final game is get one single point uh, and they'll advance to the semifinal. They play Austria who have to be, you know, somewhat nervous uh, going into that game. Austria beat Serbia, but they couldn't beat Denmark, a team that Germany handled very slightly, I feel like. I mean, so far, nine goals, uh, only, what is it, two goals allowed so far through this contest? Jer Mahmoud Dahoud, Luka Waldschmidt, Jonathan Ta, Klosterman, Heinrichs, <laughs> Baumgartler, and, and, and of course, Marco Richter. All of these players, they just... <sighs> They just look unreal. And then substitutes getting off the getting off the bench at Meyer getting a goal as well. That knife. Just a knife to your heart, essentially. And it just I feel so bad for Serbia. Germany, you guys did the Deutschland team, you did not have to do them this bad. This dirty. This rude. This it's unacceptable. However, if you do some more teams like that, I mean, that'd be kind of funny. Like, <clears throat> Denmark, oh, that would be fantastic. But I, I have a feeling that this Germany squad might, you know, play a lesser team. Uh, but in this game, guys, mom, I want to give Dahu my man of the match, but it has to go to the hat trick king, Luka Waldschmidt. He played absolutely wonderful. That front three in general is just a master class of attacking football, especially in this 4-3-1-2 in this style that they play. It's just they work so well together. I hope to see Dahu more for Dortmund, but... I don't know if we will, but you guys should let me know 
Your thoughts on the Germany 6-1 Serbia domination. It just, it sounds weird saying it because I came into this game expecting Luka Jovic and Lukic and Radonjic to do something and not z zilch, zero. Uh, but yeah, you guys let me know your thoughts on in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm looking forward to seeing more of the defending champions continue to uh, batter teams on their way to try and defend their title in a huge statement win, man. Thank you guys once again and peace.